Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to talk about the thermal stresses. As the name suggests, what do you understand by the thermal stresses? Simply the stresses which are generated because of the change in temperature that are known as thermal stresses. Okay? Basically, when we talk about the thermal stresses, thermal stresses is a type of stress when we change the temperature of the object. Simply, I just asked one question to all of you. If I raise the temperature of this rod, from initial temperature T1 to T2. Kya isme thermal stress generate would be? Is the thermal stress induced in this member? If yes, then you are wrong. If no, then it is right. Now let me explain why the thermal stress will not generate in the member after rising the temperature. Okay? As the name suggests, thermal stresses, let me uh, go to the whiteboard. Just a moment. No, this is the blue one is the initial stage of the rod and the initial temperature is T1 degree Celsius. Now we rise this temperature to the T2 degree Celsius okay? and the shape of the rod will expand from blue to red one. But due to there is no restriction at the ends. At the ends, that means here is no restrictions. Here and here. So we are not, sorry, here and here. So we are not producing any type of the blockage or restriction to the change in length. That's why the stress will not occur. But basically when we talk, when we have a rod, which is fixed at both the ends, and then we rise the temperature from T1 to T2. The the stress will generate. Now, I will show you. This is my red one is the rod whose length is L. Initial temperature is T1 degree Celsius. We will write the temperature of this to T2 degree Celsius. Take after rising the temperature from T1 to T2. The change in length is this one. This is the change in length. Okay? And this is, there is a change in length where this is alpha L T. Where alpha, we define the value of alpha. Alpha is coefficient of thermal expansion or contraction and L is the length of the member and T is change in temperature that is T2 minus T1. So this is the change in temperature. So here we saw that we have restricted 
this month this much length of the rod after the rise in temperature so when we talk about the so when we talk about the strain so strain ki jab main baat karta hu to meri jo strain hogi that is temperature strain kya ho jayegi change in length with respect to the original length to so, kitna ho jayega change in length alpha lt divided by original length that is l to so, mera टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेन कितना आ गया अल्फा इंटू टी तो मेरी टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेस कितनी हो गई स्ट्रेन दैट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ई दैट विल गिव यू ई अल्फा टी तो दिस इज माय टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेस दिस इज नोन एज टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेस व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेस So sigma t is equal to e t multiplied by e. That is e alpha t multiplied by e alpha t, where e is the Young's modulus of elasticity, and alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion or contraction in per degree Celsius or per Kelvin, and t is the change in temperature. That is final temperature minus initial temperature. So this is the temperature stress in the member. Think. Okay? So this is all about the temperature stress. in the next lecture we will discuss about the temperature stress in a compound member thank you